My name is Tara Elvery. I'm 16 years old. I go to Mansfield State High School and I'm partly deaf. Many people see nothing wrong with me and assume that my life is no different to anyone else's and that my hearing doesn't affect me at all in my life. But it actually makes everything that I do harder and more challenging for me. Unlike most deaf people in the world, my hearing wasn't something that I was born with. It is something that has developed throughout my life, meaning that I come across as a very normal person because in my early life, I didn't have any hearing loss. My hearing has deteriorated as a result of something called klesiotoma, which has caused me to undergo 18 surgeries so far in my life, with at least one more scheduled for this year. I'm the type of person who doesn't let my barriers stop me from achieving what I want to achieve. I don't see myself as like a hearing impaired person who can't do what everyone else does, but I see myself as being able to do what everyone else does, but with a hearing impairment. I do have challenges that occur because of my hearing in my sport and music, but I make sure that they don't stop me. In my sport, my hearing doesn't impact me as much as it does in music, but it is still something that I have to overcome. Uh, with music being the career path that I want to follow, a lot of my thoughts are spent thinking about how it's all going to work out with my hearing loss. Whenever I do anything to do with music, I'm often asked, how can I possibly do music when I can't hear what's going on? I can't hear different people playing. I can't hear if I'm in tune, if I'm in time with everyone else. But And people just often doubt my ability to perform like anyone else. I'm scared that people will characterize me by my hearing loss rather than my ability to perform. And when, But when these doubts enter my mind, I just have to tell myself that there is nothing I can do about it and that I just have to prove them wrong with how I perform and show them that I'm just as good as anyone else. People always have an excuse for not trying, whether it be that they don't have the time, they don't have the energy or they just have better things to do and so many people let insignificant things get in the way of achieving their dreams and then they're disappointed when they don't achieve them. They get so caught up in their like th their short-term wants, their short-term needs and then they lose sight of their future life and they lose sight of their goals. Well I have to work 10 times harder than the average person to achieve my goals yet I'm pushing myself to reach them and I'm pushing myself to reach success. What's your excuse? Uh, this is a photo of me running at nationals. This is me playing netball. Here are some photos of me singing with my choir when we went over to France to sing for the Anzac ceremonies over there. 